Have you seen physio or dietitian or anything? Sorry? Have you seen the physio or dietitian? Physio, we walk with the physio, I'll put it in the... Um, yeah, no, just so I can circle what else, who else has been in... Getting moved to ward eleven. I'll make sure I'm up and down. I could have brought a bubble. <laughs> could have brought a pair of razors. Jesus Christ. It's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous now, isn't it? Hmm. Didn't work, did it? I want to spin again. I want to spin again. No, it's not working, is it? Sorry, Dad. Right, but it's not though, is it? So I'll be moved to Ward 11. I got my own little private room, which is nice. So I haven't explained it already. In hospital, obviously. Brothers are right behind me. Mum and that have been, but they've left. And Andrew's got nowhere to be, so I thought he'd stick around for a bit longer, but yeah. Um, I'll get into detail why I'm here in a bit later, but you know, got some scars, some bruising from where I've been stabbed. Some more there. And uh, just here there as well. That's nice. I got a nice big. Uh, Thingy on my leg. That's big graze, I can't even see it. That's big graze there on my leg. Uh, so basically, my whole body's pretty stiff, but um, basically, the premise is um, yesterday, today, not yesterday, today's Thursday the 25th, Tuesday the 23rd. No, I'm talking about one. Yeah. I just said that, I'm talking about the day that I started feeling it. Oh. On the 23rd I woke up, fine, hunky-dory. Then I uh, grab my coffee. And uh, first few sips are fine, then I stand up to go to the toilet. Suddenly feel light-headed. Uh, I just think nothing of it. Then I start feeling a little bit gippy, a little bit sick. Day goes by, I felt like I was almost going to collapse when I got to the job centre itself. Uh, so yeah, did, did my stuff there, signed on, etc. Got back, had a little nap, an hour or so, kept waking up every hour or so. And then the last I remember, I don't know what time it was, what, what time was it? About 3 o'clock apparently in the morning. Lauren, my girlfriend, who is currently staying over in Blackpool, I don't know how, she found me flat out on the bathroom floor, passed out. I'd collapsed and um I've got an edge of beef stew all right for you. That's perfect. Yeah. With soup and uh, cheesecake. Oh, thank you. So okay. That's brilliant. So what are you eating about 20 minutes ago? But that's fucking I'm front. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'd collapsed on the bedroom floor. Uh, apparently I've contracted sepsis, which is a blood disease, which um I could have died. I was about five percent away from death. Uh, I looked it up. Uh, people my age can contract it and have more chance of surviving. But if I was like 70, 80, I'd be on death's door right now. So there's a possibility I could be dead. And if I, if it wasn't for Lauren, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be talking right now. But uh, thank you very much to all the well wishes and lovely people that have wished me well. I'm doing okay. Still a little bit groggy. Body's still a little bit achy. Obviously it would be when you've collapsed on the frigging back from floor at 3 in the morning. But yeah. I love you guys and I'll keep you guys updated. Alright. And Andrew's here too. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the next morning. Uh, it's a bit dark because I've closed the <clears throat> Close the blinds. Uh, it's half eight in the morning. 
I'm due to be uh, discharged today, so yeah. Um, I don't know if I told you last night, but uh, I was moved from water lap from a, uh, from the intensive care unit to uh, ward eleven. Uh, so I just moved to a ward, which is good. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing a lot better. Still a little bit. Um, um, what's the word? Stiff. Still a little bit of stiff in places, but collapsing and smashing under the floor. It's not going to physically feel great within the first 24 to 48 hours, is it? But now I'm thinking about just finishing the coffee. Now I'm having some porridge, which is really nice. So, catch up with you guys in a bit. So I'm back home, as you can tell. Um, I'm about 90%. Uh, I'm a bit sore, got a bit of a headache, get a, get a little bit dizzy if I stand up too fast. Um, but yeah, it feels weird being back. Um, <laughs> can't even really lift my arms are all that high. Um, my jaw hurts, but uh, yeah. Um, got like a bunch of like, in my back. Well, yeah. I don't know if it's showing anything. I'm trying. To... Um, the next clip I'm going to show you is actually quite distressing. It's a video or a snap video that Lauren took uh, before she came into the bathroom to check on me. Um, it's very scary for me and maybe for you guys. It's very haunting. Knowing the situation that was at hand. Um, so check it out. Uh, I think it's about 10-15 seconds long. So if, if you don't at all want to hear it. And if you don't want to be haunted. Uh, by the matter of fact. Then just skip about 20 seconds ahead of this bit. Uh, in a few seconds. So yeah. Um, I want to say thank you to my lovely girlfriend Lauren. Because if she didn't bust into that bathroom then. Probably wouldn't be here right now. Um, absolutely wouldn't be here right now. So uh, thank you very much, Lauren. But yeah, here's the clip of me uh, in breakdown mode in the bathroom right before I collapsed and broke my bath, broke my toilet essentially. So here's that. Again, like I mentioned, it's a very haunting video. So just for warning, Poppy, shut up. Anyway. Here it is. So here's the bathroom now. Um, so the toilet was this way. Literally all of this was facing this way. Uh, I'll try and get a photo of it. So the floor's been taken up, the toilet's been reset, uh, and yeah, it's just really haunting being in here because like genuinely I don't remember ever coming out of that room because I was sleeping in my mum's room at the time, I was sleeping in here, and uh, yeah because for the past day or so I'd been feeling a little bit iffy. I originally thought it was food poisoning. Me and myself and, Lauren, myself and Lauren were sleeping in here, obviously. But obviously the day of, the day previous, I, I thought I had food poisoning, so I didn't want to give Lauren it, so I slept in here in my mum's room. And uh, I don't remember much. Apparently, I came into the bathroom, sitting on the toilet or whatever. Next minute I know, next minute I recollect, at least. Um... I hear, I'm guessing which was uh, a nurse or a doctor's voice saying, uh, Bradley, calm down. Bradley, calm down. Uh, that's the next one I remember. And then after that, uh, I wake up in a hospital bed. Uh, so it's a very scary experience. Uh, one that I never thought would happen. Um, you never think this, these sort of things would happen. 
uh, session in real life. It's kind of like a weird thing from a movie or a TV show. Um, but yeah, scary times. But yeah, I'm 100%, oh no, 100%, I'm fine. I'm as good as I can be and I'm just going to rest up and recoup these next few days. Scary knowing three nights ago, three nights ago I might not have been on this earth anymore. That's, that's crazy. Like I said, you, you never think this shit could happen to you until it does. So I'm still trying to rack my brain around it, but yeah. Let's go meet the saviour actually before I end this bit of the vlog or video or whatever it is. Ow! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sam would have liked the sweets though. What? The sweets in America called lifesavers, they're not very nice. I can barely lift this hand, so I don't know what I'm vlogging with this hand. But yeah, shout out to this little queen. I won't be here if it were for you. Thank you, love. <laughs> I'm being serious. You're me, Angel. Anyway, so. Getting picked up to go back to Yorkshire for a week. Probably gonna end the vlog when we arrive in Bradford, then I'm just gonna chill for the week. So, um, been a few days since the last video. Um, I forgot to end the video when I arrived here in Bradford uh, on uh, Friday, which is Sunday now. Uh, and yeah, um, first of all, look at this big bloody bruise. Look at that. Goes all the way up my arm. Sheesh. And then we got, uh, yeah. Got bruises all over me, buddy. But yeah. Um. Uh, I feel ten times better. Um. I'm still a little bit sensitive in places, you know, I can just, only just about, yeah. Hold my shoulder up, my right shoulder up. I've still got like weird numbness and pins and needles kind of thing in my right side of like my shoulder to my hand. Um, no, it's Bradley actually. I'm uh, just resting up and I'm due to be feeling faint and dizzy and you know stiff and stuff for the next week or so. But other than that, I'm just gonna rest up. Uh, this is gonna be my last video for a while, probably. So thank you to everyone that's wished me well. Thanks to Lauren who practically saved my life. Because uh, if she didn't, you know, wake up and hear me at 3 a.m., uh, practically, you know, freaking out um, without me being conscious, then uh, I probably wouldn't be here right now. As I was before I was so rudely interrupted, I've just been on the phone to my brother. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm, I'm resting up, I'm getting better. The wonderful nurses and doctors that indeed saved my life. Um, you never think this sort of shit can happen to you until it does. It's like something out of a movie or a TV show. I don't know if I've said that before in this video. I don't know. Like I said, I'm a bit loopy. <laughs> and I've not watched back any of the footage from when I was in hospital to when I got home. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I love you guys very much. And I have a new found respect. And lease on life. Um, absolutely. I'm not gonna say the whole like, can't I subscribe and stay red ass crap, because you never know when it can just. So, yeah. Care and nurture those around you, because you never know when the last goodbye could be. So, yeah. Bye bye. For now. I love you. All of you, so. See ya.